Hi, I'm Nikki from My Favors, and today I'm going to show you how to make these customized Coco Melon Balloon Centerpieces for your upcoming party. All right, I'm Nikki, and um, right now I'm getting ready to work on my second set of centerpieces for the customer who's actually coming to pick up today, which is Saturday. And we're going to do the Coco Melon balloon centerpiece. You're going to need a balloon sand weight. And I do have a video on this sand weight. I'll leave a link in the description box on how to do the bassoon balloon sand waist. These are my waist of choice, um, especially if it's an outdoor event, a balloon sand weight is good. That way um, the kids can't knock the balloons over. And I'll, I'll probably do a demonstration showing with and without a balloon sand weight. So a balloon sand weight is optional. But especially if it's an outdoor event, use a sand weight so that the wind don't blow it. It don't get knocked down easily. And I'm going to actually cover this sand weight. I do recycle material. So this is a round balloon, round mylar balloon. And I did cut it in half because I've already used the other half on another weight but all I did was cut it in half and then I'm going to cut it again and down the other half so you can actually get four pieces off of one um, balloon so this is the second half so this would be my third balloon sand weight from that one balloon. I've already done a centerpiece. So this is going to be the second one that I'm going to do right now. So basically all I'm doing is wrapping a 260 around the balloon sand weight there you have the tail, the neck of the balloon here. I'm going to start off with my bottom base. The bottom base is going to be, let me, the bottom base is going to be 12 inch balloons inflated 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tie it together. All right, so two balloons is a duplet. You tie them both together, makes a quad. So I'm going to do my bottom quad. It's going to be 10 inches, 10 pumps on a 12 inch balloon. If you have a 9 or 11 inch balloon, that would work just as well. So what I'm going to do is make sure that my balloon sandwich is flat because you want it to sit flat against the table. So all I do is press down. And if you have any excess pieces like this, you can cut that off. I'm going to set my sandwich on top. Grab my 260, press down, and just wrap. Do it this way. All right. 
that way your balloon sand weight and your um, quads at the bottom are attached together you're going to do the same thing for your yellow balloon and you can use any colors you like so it doesn't have to be the color combination I'm doing. I'm going to inflate this five times. Five pumps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. For my duplet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. My second duplet, put them together to make a quad. I'm going to sit that right on top of the, the green set. So I have this space here and that's going to, it's not going to sit like this. It's going to sit like this and you want to tie that as well. Okay, you want to make sure that they are attached. I'm going to do the same thing for my red. I have already inflated red. Still the five pumps. Set that again. And then locking it with that yellow. So now you have that grouping all together. I'm going to go ahead and inflate the top mylar balloon. This is an 18 inch cocoa melon. This design, this theme, this style can be used for any theme that you're doing. Any color combination is just knowing the pattern and following the same template. Right now it's cold outside. And I'm just getting into the shop so there is no heat. You want to be very cautious that mylar balloons will inflate when it's hot in a hot environment and it will deflate in a cold environment. You wanna, I didn't count any pumps because you basically have to eyeball it. Over inflating this balloon can pop it. So you wanna be very careful not to pop the balloon. So I did not do any counts. I give any, just when inflating your balloon, be aware of Overinflating can cause popping. You do not want to overinflate. Right now it's cold outside. It's warmer in here than it is outside. So just be aware if when your mylar balloons are taken outside and they start deflating, um, it's okay. But once you get back into a warmer envi environment, then flu the balloon will then inflate and gain its um its uh position or form in a game in a game back its form now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to tie the 260 to the tail of this uh mylon balloon so just basically wrapping it around And then I'm going to tie it with the tail. I'm tying it with the tail. Tying it. And then I'm going to sit it flush in there. And I'm going to take this 260. And I'm just going to just make sure all of my balloons are locked together. I'm just bringing it back down. Okay. 
And then you can cut off this excess piece. All right. And there you have it. Now, when somebody go or some kids, because you know the kids, the first thing they're going to go after are the balloons. They're going to hit it. They're going to move it. They're going to punch it around. But because that sand weight is on there, it's not going to fall. All right. The wind blow it. It's not going to fall. It's not going nowhere. So why I do have my pump out, sometimes when you're doing balloons, balloons attract dust, hair, everything. After you finish, before setting it on your tables for display, you want to just take your pump and make sure you blow off any. I have some here. Just blow off any lint or dirt that you see. When I used to go to events and do this, they thought it was something special that I was doing. First of all, they'll sit there and wonder what it is that I'm doing. And then I go back and I do this. It's like, oh, she doing some magic powers on it. And I know. <laughs> I'm just blowing the dust off. I'm going to give you an idea of doing a centerpiece of this nature without the weight. And when I do it without the weight, because it's always the customer option if they rather have it with or without the weight because it is more, it costs more to have it on the weight. So this is a demonstration with it off the weight. If that's what you choose to do. I always inflate it, not too much. All right. And then I get my 260 and I tie it on the balloon first. I tie the 260 on the mylar first. So all I did was tie that on. I always leave the tail. So I tie it right at the neck. You're not gonna even need all of this, so. You can cut that. And then I work myself down. So I already have a red inflated. And then I just put it here. Get it. And tie it. So you want to make sure that you pull, push up. Because you want that neck of the balloon to be firm with that... Uh, your bottom quad. I am going to have to inflate the yellow. The same way you want to interlock it like this. Push down. Take it up around the red. I don't have no kind of form or pattern. I just make sure that it's locked down on there good. Um, same thing for the green, but with 10 pumps. When you're tying your balloons, let me see if I can, this way. You want to make sure that you're tying it close to the balloon as possible. So... When I get it, I tie it real close to that second balloon and tie. All right. So you don't have all of that unnecessary gap. All right. And then you want to go ahead and form your quad. Take it here. Same thing, you want to make sure it's interlocking with the okay. 
take your green 260 and just go around that yellow. Go around that yellow again. Just want to make sure you do that tight. Okay? And then you just flatten it out. All right, so this would be without the balloon sandwich. That was done in real time. So it takes less than eight minutes to do. And that's included if you had to inflate this red balloon. So it's less than eight minutes. So this is the centerpiece, less than 10 minutes. Now, without the sand weight, and it's in a high traffic area where kids are, you, you have it outside. This is a regular balloon pump. And this is what would happen. See how it felt? I'm gonna do it again. Regular balloon pump. Okay. So imagine if you outside and you have very strong winds. It's windy that day, and you take your balloon center pieces outside without a sand weight. This is going to happen. We the lightest wind is going to blow your centerpieces off the table. So if you say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to put a sand weight on it. I'm going to leave this one on. I'm going to go ahead and do another sand weight. So make sure it's flat. Make sure your sand weight is flat. I'm going to stick it back, stick it inside this other, this last piece of foil that I have cut from the round 18 inch mylar balloon. Get it? I always like to make sure that my neck is out. So I'm going to grab my neck. And that piece that I cut earlier, I'm going to use it. I always use my, my straps. I recycle. I'm going to tie this together. Because when we do it with the 260 already on when doing the weight, it's already there. So being that we decided last minute, all right, let's do put on a weight. So now what you do is you get that 260 the, the end of that 260 and you want to tie it to this sand weight and I just go around and I want to make sure I tie it on there I don't know if you can see that but basically all I'm doing is tying that. I'm going to cut this. I don't need this strap. So I'm going to cut this strap. Don't cut it too close to the knot where you tie it. You don't want to risk it coming apart. And now it's sitting flat. Better view. So you still can attach a sand weight even after forming or designing your centerpiece. But if you know you're going to do a sand weight, start with the sand weight first. Now, when they go in with the little wind that's going to be outside, not. It's going nowhere. All right, I'm Nikki. I hope you was able to gain some knowledge, some good information from this tutorial. I have one more to go before my customer comes in. I'm going to start on it. If you haven't seen my video on how I did these hold on let me take it so you can see it 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if I don't have it posted already. I will be posting it soon. I will have a link in the description box on where you can see how I custom designed this. Oh no, one more thing. One more. I think I forgot something. Hold on. Hold on. I almost forgot this tutorial is about customing. Customing your balloon design. So we do sell these in our shop. Custom letters, custom names, numbers, any text you would like. And we're going to customize these front and back. Because if you had not noticed, this is the front of the cocoa melon. And this is the back of the cocoa melon. So it's two designs on one balloon. So therefore, we're going to do a front and back design. Totally up to you. It's your choice, your centerpiece. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a her name, Kira Kyra, at the bottom. And basically what I'm doing is disconnecting or removing the top tape because you will have it come with tape. So I want to show you the tape. It's not going to come like this. It will come. Let me just go ahead and remove it so you can get an idea. So a lot of people don't realize that there is tape on here. So you're going to remove the tape with the letter attached. And make sure you grab all your parts. That's the purpose of the tape. Make sure you grab all your parts. And I'm going to right here place her name right here. And then you want to remove it, press down. And basically what I'm doing is just making sure the name is attached as I'm pulling away. If you find your letter coming up, put the tape back down, rub it and start again. You want to make sure and I remove the whole letter. So if that happens, I normally have craft knife. You can do it by hand. But I normally use my craft knife and just position it where I want it to go. So in case that happens, you can always just take the letter and put it on i'm going to do the other side what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the second side i'm just going to grab this tape if you find yourself having a hard time lifting the tape you just grab like a craft knife so that you can at least lift up on the tape to get your your letters and then I'm going to do this side all right so we have a custom cocoa melon balloon centerpiece front and back view All right, so this is what the balloon, Coco Melon Custom Balloon Center pieces are looking like. This one has her name. I just showed you how I put her name. This one was the first one. We did not put the name. It is double-sided. So if you decide you would want to do this, you can order the names or you can order without the names, order with the center pieces or order without the centerpieces. If you haven't already seen my video on how I put these together, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be posting the video up soon on how to make these three foot custom 
balloon centerpieces. All right, um, Nikki, don't forget, like and subscribe, and until the next video.